we're leaving this rooftop, so I have no problem doing this. Catch. Oh god, too much Psy! Too much physics! Too many rooftops gone! Oh god! I'm so surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. Hello one and all, Mickey here, and welcome to the first XCOM 2 custom mission I'll be doing. This I was literally trying to get working on day one of the game's release. I had somewhat trouble um, activating the console, console though because, well, I couldn't get it to work. I didn't know what the thing that you put with the in front of the, or at the end, the executable, so when you load the game, the console's there. I couldn't work it out. Um, I did eventually. So here it is, a few months late, but it's here. <laughs> um, as for the people that have shown up, Everybody that has requested to be added to the character pool are in the game. I'm not going to load out the game to show you guys. But I can assure you every single person is in there with their custom settings. But I can pretty much guarantee the custom settings didn't stick. Because every time that I checked, they didn't. So all the 12 hours I worked on them, 12 hours solid, getting everybody in the game. With all the custom settings you guys asked for, it doesn't stick. So... You guys may not look like what you you want it to look like, but at least be in the game. So first we have Banshee, Tara Westlix, Westlex, I'm terrible pronouncing names, um, plays Crimson Heart, the General Peter Van Dorn, obviously, as well as Close Range Bradford. I don't know why they both appeared at the same time. I've added, um, I haven't added any celebrity names. But I have added a bunch of novel novelty characters, namely people like Van Dorn and Bradford, um, as well as Shen, Valen, you know, those type. And all of the um, Advent Soldiers as well, because um, the incredible modders out there have, have made some really amazing armors. So yeah, they're, pretty much every Advent Soldier in the game is a, a soldier in the character pool now. We also have Killbite Virus, Dark Wrath. Robert Gaines, who is back from Series 3 of XCOM Long War, Kadafka, XCal13, and Odios, Odiasis, and those are our 10 soldiers. Um, I didn't want to go for anything more than that, because otherwise it turns to take too long. Um, and I guess I should exp ex uh, explain what the rules of this mission are going to be. Basically, I triggered all the enemies on the map, as you can see their kind of corpses lying around on the floor. Oh, that reminds me. I need this console command so that I have vision of the whole map. The console command toggle um, FOW reveals the whole map, but it doesn't reveal enemies outside of line of sight, which is probably how I'm going to play the game anytime I play it now. I just spotted the command uh, the other day and it's the first time I've used it. Um, I love being able to see the terrain, but not the enemies. I mean, if you're flying down the Sky Ranger, you're going to have pretty much visual confirmation of what the terrain is going to be before you land not just you know a few hundred meters in front of you or you know a few tens of meters in front of you okay so yeah the rules i killed all the enemies on the map um and yes this is a gateway mission i just picked it just it's easy um easy to set up at least and i spawned in a zombie for every enemy there was so there are 11 zombies on the map currently you can't actually see all of them some of them are hidden and the rules are going to be this Every zombie that I kill, I will spawn two more on opposite ends of the map. So this is a fight to the death, last man standing. Rule number two, some of you might have already clocked it. I cannot post my soldiers on top of ladders or pipes blocking, zo blocking zombies from climbing up. That would basically just, you know, bug out the AI and make the game unlosable i also be unwinnable because I'll be spawning in an infinite number of zombies. So yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. I can take the high ground, obviously, but I can't block ladders. Um, last rule is, I think I'll go with this. The last one or two soldiers remaining on the map, if they make it to this point, then I'll end the mission and say that they won. So whoever's last if they make it to the bomb node then i'll let them live and yes you did just hear your name dark wrath you are one of the unlucky few uh, i can't zoom any further than that but i don't know if you're able to tell whether that's what you wanted your character to look like probably not because the game will happily just pick whatever the hell it feels like um doesn't having bradford in the name list means that he can shop twice um no because the bradford that came with the game i altered 
So that's this is actually the Bradford that's here. So he won't show up twice. Oh, you mean on the, on the um, Avenger? Yeah, then he will. Ironically, yeah, he was on um, the previous mission, um, the second tutorial mission of the non-existent XCOM 2 series I'm doing. Yeah, all I have to do is kill all the zombies at once. Yep, that is a very good point. I could do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to start <laughs> at this point. I could just talk on and on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to retreat. Um, one thing I should mention is that I changed the zombies um, mobility to be the same as soldiers. It really bothered me and bugged me how a sham, you know, uh, a limping shambling zombie moved further than one of your sprinting soldiers. It didn't make any sense. I didn't like it. I haven't balanced their health out to compensate for that. I figured, you know, everyone's going to die on this mission anyway. But that is something to be aware of. They can move as far as I can, which is kind of why underneath every zombie, there's also another dead zombie. Because the previous zombies that spawned in had 15 mobility, and these have 12, so I had to kill the old ones and spawn in new ones. So, let's get started. Uh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Are you guys going to be able to reach me? Find Follow out. Me. No, you can't. Okay. Let's start off with that then. Heading out. Heading out. And, yeah, for those of you watching uh, the video on Moving YouTube in a couple of days, or now from your perspective, um, I your will order. edit out all the console commands I'm doing when I'm spawning in zombies. Basically, any time that I kill a zombie, yeah, obviously I'm going to stop what I'm doing and spawn in a zombie somewhere on the map. Or probably opposite sides. But, yeah, I will cut that all out when I'm doing the edits. Moving to position. I'm on it. Okay. I think now is a good order. enough time to start shooting. Is anybody in range? No, and close, but no. Open fire. Good shot. Missed. Good start to a great mission. Who was that? Oh, it was Kadafka that shot. Okay, okay. Everybody else just empty your guns. I love it. Keep going. Target still up. Okay, finally one kill. Terminated. And promotion. I'm sure you'll make good use of that promotion. Okay, two more zombies. Keep firing. Chrysalis versus zombies. Um, I've actually been thinking about a lot of the missions that I did um, for XCOM EU or XCOMEW. Hey, another zombie down. X-ray neutralized. Where I was using chrysalids, and I'm actually thinking I can't really do any of them anymore uh, because chrysalids can attack after their dash. Nothing would be balanced. No mission that I did in the in the previous game would be balanced here. So I'm gonna have to work around that. Maybe I'll remove their ability to attack after their dash just for the sake of a custom mission. And you guys are out of range. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, watch everyone. And away we go. So kill two zombies, spawned four more. These are rookies, I can't really complain. And this is the part where I realise that the mobility thing isn't working and they can attack on after 15 tiles. I was pulling my hair out a little bit earlier when I realised the zombies I'd spawned in previously were not accommodating me when I'd lowered their mobility. Turns out any enemy, any unit that was spawned in before an edit was made, they will keep all the stats they had before the edit was made. Maybe I should have installed a mod that sped up the animations. Well guys, um, anybody watching on YouTube right now would... Oh, that was a civilian. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that was a sectoid. Anybody watching on YouTube will probably realise by now... Um, 
I may speed up the AI's turn when they're moving the zombies. I don't know. Maybe. As for you guys watching on Twitch uh, right now, sorry. <laughs> now, are these all the zombies? At least all the zombies that are nearby. What the hell was that? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten, eleven. Okay, so these are all the zombies that I started out with. Uh, another one there, 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 and here. So I'm gonna be re retreating into one of them. How far does the map go? Damn it! There we go. So the map goes up to here. If the zombie did a dash. He's like here. So I probably won't even see him if I retreat. And having said that. I can't even retreat and shoot. Because that zombie is going to be able to get me. Um, actually, if I kill him, assuming I kill him, big if, then I won't need to move. Or at least I won't need to dash. So, yeah, let's just Moving fall back position. a little bit. Anyone that's in range of the other zombies can then do a dash. Heading out. You know, I was thinking, uh, given how easy it is to Heading make out. the game spawn in with how many soldiers you want, um, that I would do another viewer massacre mission, which this time would be um, like 50 soldiers versus I don't know three sect pods and um, moving to position, say three gatekeepers. I have no idea how that will work. I don't know if rookies would ever be able to hit a gate, uh, gatekeeper. Their armor shouldn't be a problem though because grenades will just wear them down. Um, okay, you zombies aren't in range, are you? No, you're not. Barely. Okay, so let's kill the close zombie. Good hit. Max damage. But no crit. And good hit. Okay, another two zombies. Oh, you're in range. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so yeah, just keep firing. Mow them down. Not good. Is that a Honda on the holo display? Uh, an Advent Honda, maybe. Does Advent take credit for all of humanity's... Um, for all of their accomplishments? I have no idea. I can imagine after Advent takeover, pretty much anything created by a human would have to have um, references to Advent about it. Are, are any of you going to die? I should probably be focusing, uh, focus firing. I've just been pressing one repeatedly. Has anyone died yet? Guys? Nope. Yeah, I should probably be focusing, focus firing. Thankfully, none of them have uh, regen health. You better be out of range. That doesn't... Okay, that was dash. You know, in vanilla, I could just grenade them all, but uh, one of the mods that I've installed is the grenade uh, fall-off mod, like in Long War. So, grenades are going to do piss-poor damage on anyone outside of a direct hit. Now, I've already lost track of how many zombies there are. What, I've killed... There was 11. Killed 3. So eight plus six, so fourteen. Is there really only fourteen so far? Okay, guys, is that everyone? Well, at, at least this uh, guy spawned in. It's moving. Not sure about the others. I'm gonna assume they're moving and they're not bugged out because they don't have vision of me. 
Um, I know the enemies that I spawn in with the um, one at the end of uh, drop unit Psy Zombie Space 1. They start active. I think if you type in uh, two or three, I think it is, they start inactive. And when you see them, then it, it plays a reveal. But these should be completely active and fine. Uh, oh, there's... Okay, that's not a drain pipe. Uh, there is a drain pipe that side, but they're going to be able to reach it. The closer side is here, so if I just line up, I'm on it. I should be okay. Go on then, guys, make it happen. Who might be in range? Ah, oh, well, work it out when we all move upstairs. Okay, move there, and then we're going to have to start moving back. I know I said I'm not going to block the uh, lads or drain parts, not going to. I'm just going to move everybody up and reposition. Uh, go there for now. You're all going to have to move as well. On the move. Okay, so who is in range? You're going to have to give me a dash. Getting it done. And lastly, you two. Go, go, go. Come on then, Odiosa. Go there. Roger that. Right. So who's in range? You are, and you, and you. Uh, that's not great. So one, two, three, possibly four. Um, I have to kill four of them. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm Moving not going to play that game. Moving to position. Okay, so if you go there, all you guys in range, yeah, figure as much. Unfortunate. On the move. What about you? Go there, and yeah, still two people are in range. Moving to position. You're, yeah, and Tara is the last soldier I've got that can actually make him move. Can you even do that? Can you shoot? Yes, you can shoot. You can kill a zombie, and they won't get you. Okay, who do you want to kill? Who's got the most amount of health? Um, can I have a four, please? Give me a four or a crit. Unbelievable. Yeah, I didn't get it. You really didn't. Running through ammo fast. Um, how much you missed? Not much so far. Um, it's just started. We started by the, um by the objective, maybe like one or half turn away, and we've moved back twice. Second turn, I managed to pull off one shot because the zombies have already caught up with me. Um, rules are I can't block drain pipes or ladders. Uh, rule number two is every zombie I kill spawns two more on the edges of the map. Rule number three is the last soldier surviving can choose to plant the bomb, and if they manage to get to the bomb node and plant it, then I will count that as a win, and I'll let them survive. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm going to have to start splitting up here, because they're kind of in the centre right now, and anybody that dashes, I can pretty much guarantee, at least on the outer edge of where we are, they're not going to be able to make a blue move and shoot, unless we all separate in different directions, which... I mean, we're all going to die eventually, right? Okay, the zombies on the left are moving. Maybe that was the one that I spawned earlier. Yeah, that was the one that spawned nearby. Not sure about the ones that are spawning out of range. They may just be sitting there, to be honest. Which would be really unfortunate. So, am I feeling lucky? Um, let's start splitting up. Let's take whatever shots we can. That's not a shot because you can do a, do a diagonal. So you're useless. 
can you go... no. Nope. Um, you're going to be able to get, hit me. How about if you go here? Go there. Maybe you'll get a shot. On it. I can't believe how, th how desperate things have gotten already. I know if I wanted to, I could just uh, kite them around the map, um, never spawning any more in, because I won't be killing them, and it'll just be a stalemate, but it's not really what I'm going for. But then again, taking shots, because they can move as far as I can. Actually, are you in range? No, that's just one tile too far, isn't it? And you do have a diagonal on me. No, he will be able to hit me. Because he doesn't have to make it all the way there. He can get to a diagonal and then hit me diagonally. So you can't shoot either. Okay. Um, let's try someone else then. You will be able to hit me as well, aren't you? Because you will be able to hit me on a diagonal. Fall back. Location confirmed. How far can you go? Um, yeah, you should be fine. Getting it done. Stepping off. Come on, guys, we are repositioning. Actually, maybe, maybe you guys will be able to get a shot. Actually, no, no, there's no way. This guy's right next to me. He can drop down, uh, straight down. There's nothing in the way. So. He's gonna basically be able to move as far as I will. On your order. No. He can drop down, he's gonna have diagonal on me, so yeah, no one can shoot. So I guess just dash. Oh, Screw it. Everybody dash, we're leaving. Moving to position. Heading out. We should have bought better guns or better soldiers. Solid copy. No offense to you guys, obviously, just not very experienced right now. We all know how it's going to go, but missing 85s, height advantage, and maybe that doesn't have defense. Solid copy. Oh my god, they all look like zombie Van Dorns. Is this what Advent did? They used our best soldier against us. Oh yeah, we definitely needed shotguns. But I figured that'd be way, way too powerful. <laughs> oh, faceplant indoors. 10 out of 10. Straight through the roof. Um, yeah, I suppose it would help if you weren't against um, an infinite number of zombies. Yeah, you're not really in a winnable situation here. Well, technically, one of you, one survivor may be in a winnable situation. Not good odds to be that survivor. Assuming that survivor even lives. lives. Um, what became of Trump in the invasion? Um... Trying to make Advent great again? I don't know. Yeah, um, according to the law, Dawn shouldn't really be here. I mean, they added him into the character pool, but story-wise, there was no mention of him at all. I think Bradford makes one kind of sarky comment about, um, about someone called Dawn sending commu uh, communication, and he cuts him off. Um, but, yeah, story-wise, we should never have control of Dawn, so it's likely Advent have him. And because they can't, um, corrupt him, they use his DNA and clone him. Okay, let's start making a dent. 90 to hit. Minimum damage. I will take it. Finish him off. Okay, another zombie down. Hostile target down. Toss me some ammo. So who here is gonna be able to get a shot? You guys won't. 
Maybe you will if you move this direction. Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I'm on it. But you guys won't be able to. You need to make a dash. Stepping off. <clears throat> you can take a shot. On the move. You need to make a dash. Double time. You. Yeah, you could take a shot. Heading out. Oh, there's that zombie. Um, I'm worried because there should be two zombies back here. And that's the one I just dropped down now. I have noticed a lot of times the zombies kind of wander off like, you know, zombies do. Who can you kill? We've got a five. Hey, yeah, go for that four. 65. Wow. Target neutralized. Draining ammo fast. I don't know how many walls you shot through to kill him, but it worked. Okay, yeah, you guys are going to have to dash. Ladder, pipe, anything. Pipe, that'll do. On it. Oh, God. What? Oh, okay. Right, so they're not moving. They're not moving. Um... Copy that. I don't know what to say about that. I guess they'll just keep adding up until they um, I spot them and then they overwhelm me. Um, yeah. On the move. Things aren't going to plan, but then again, when do they ever? Okay, who can I kill? We've got a five here. Let's try for you. You're not in range, are you? No. Wow. Target neutralized. Who was that, Tara? Got no ammo. Well done. Another two zombies. So, uh, yeah, you just take out the closest one, I guess. Good shot. Miss the target. Draining ammo fast. Station. Nice damage. No crit. You're gonna need to reload soon. What's with um, Mickey and zombie games? Um, I think zombies still have life left in them, if they're done right. This is by no means doing zombies right. Don't don't confuse that at all. Um, but say something like RimWorld with zombies. Um, given that you can operate on all of the um, all of the settlers, all the colonists, and like remove arms. Say for example, if a zombie bites one of your colonists. Um, one of your settlers, you can actually operate on them and then remove their infected limb before they turn. It's, you know, emergent gameplay like that that makes uh, zombies in that particular game really good. Not to mention, if you've got zombies attacking your base, not all of them will attack. Most of them will, but some of them will just kind of wander off as zombies do. And then if raiders attack the following, you know, you know the following month, they can get bitten by a zombie then after you kill the raiders attacking your base, one of them can get up again after it's, after you've killed it, and you know another emergent gameplay you know working out because they were bitten. Um, and not to mention um, in that mod as well, at one point late game, the virus becomes airborne, so any corpse that died and it wasn't to losing their head um, or trauma or head trauma, um, don't mean range good um yeah corpses will just get up out of graves or just if they're lying around they will just get up again and it's stuff like that if you do zombies well there's still more than enough life left in them but having them as just you know a, a mindless enemy it's a bit shit, really isn't it how XCOM gets away with it is of course with sectoids raising zombies if you kill the sectoid then the zombie dies so that's the gameplay right there that's the catch and with chrysalids, it's that when they kill a civilian or a soldier or any human, then they come up, they get up again as zombies. So, yeah, it's. I think zombies have a lot of life left in them if they're done well. Um, speaking of well, can you get me? You can't. There's only one ladder on this side, isn't there? Okay plan. 
Hold on the it. bunker! I'm gonna be running out of ammo soon, aren't I? On the move. Heading out. Uh, and you. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you can shoot from there and there's no... There is a pipe there. Um, I'm just going to assume there aren't zombies back here. Yeah, let's just go with that. Heading out. Are you going to be in range? I think you might be. Let's be safe. Already back there. Okay, everybody get to the high ground. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to put this guy here because, yeah, I don't want any of the zombies getting caught here. I don't want to break that rule. That is an exploit that I was aware of, obviously, because I had to make the rule. Oh, don't no. lock pipes or ladders. Is that everybody? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so, as long as this zombie dies, we're safe. Can you do it, Crimson? Nice work. Hostile target down. Running dry on ammo. Well done, you spawned two more zombies. Oh, why does everybody have sword attacks? Um Yeah, I guess I haven't really explained many of the mods that I've got on. Um I'm not gonna explain that. And nobody in the chat spoil what they um why they have a sword attack. Uh yeah, that is everyone, isn't it? And I spawned those two in. Yeah, you can take a shot. You can only see these two, so go ahead. Very, very powerful bullets, apparently. Fast. Can you take out that guy? <laughs> no, no, you can't. Adjusting aim. Run and dry on ammo. There you are. Please, Cal. Nicely done. Target eliminated. Need a resupply. Two more zombies. So who else we got? Oh right, yeah. Um, the general. Uh, yeah. There is no way you're gonna be able to get a shot off, are you? So I guess you just have to run. There's no one else in range, is there? That I'm missing. Dawn, I think you're on your own here. How do you get up that way? Okay, go that way. Stepping off. Let's all split up. I mean, that's really what you're supposed to do in a zombie movie anyway. Oh, you're out of ammo. Already? Really? Good time to reload, I guess. Ready to engage. Can you give me a five, please? Zero. I like it. Still I like your style. You see? This guy? That ammo here. Odiosis, wasn't it? Yeah, he knows what's up because... If you kill a zombie, you know, they're just going to get up again. You know, two more will appear for everyone that you put down. Hostile terminated. Yeah, it's this guy that's the rookie. Guns dry. Kill by, yeah, this is the rookie. He's the one that's going to get everybody killed. One left, and I guess it's just an overwatch. Um, actually, second thoughts, you know what? Reload. Reloaded. Hi guys in the chat, um, anybody that's made it here late? We haven't lost anyone yet. The rules are, um, any zombie that dies, yeah nice move zombie. What the hell is he doing? My god he's trying to sabotage the bunker. Oh god, uh oh. Um, first casualty? I didn't see that guy there, was that a dash? That was a dash, thank god for that, okay. Rules are, any zombie that dies, two more spawn. Um, I can't block ladders or drain pipes, and last man standing can, if they choose, trigger the uh, objective in the centre of the map, and I'll call that a win and they can live. Yeah, he is planting X4 on the bunker. Um, I would like to point out how goddamn stupid I was. Um, when I was seeing all the streams um, back before XCOM 2 was released and I saw plant X4 charges on the monument, I was like, X4, 
Why Why would you need to plant four of them? I, I don't understand. No, seriously, I was actually that stupid. Or am actually that stupid. Um, yeah. Bad times. So, who... You can shoot. I'm on it. Come on then, Crimson. You're one of the few people here that can uh, be able to get a shot off. You're not be able to kill him. But do you can. At least it was a hit and max damage. I need ammo. Can you not crit? No, you can't crit against zombies. Wow, have I not played this before? I thought it was like um, EU, where you had normal chance to crit against a zombie. Whereas it was chrysalids, you didn't have any chance to crit against them unless you, I don't know, had a shotgun or had perks or stuff. If you go here... I'm on it! Now, Gaines, is that zombie going to be able to kill you? Yes, he will. He will, in fact, be able to kill you. What are your chances to hit him, at least? 100%. Well, that's good. Okay, I'm going to be risky and take two 100% shots. If they both do minimum damage, then we're screwed. Gains. Good work. That guarantees that zombie killed. I'm running low on ammo. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh oh, are you. Oh, you do have ammo. That's okay. Good, good, good. On your order. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but can I. Uh, who wants to demonstrate for me? Come on then, Odiosis. Um, look, 100% chance to hit a point blank range. News on XCOM 2. Yeah, um, I hated how the close range system worked in XCOM 2. Um, basically, how it was how Vanilla did it in um, EU and EW. I changed all the range bonuses to be like Long War. So you get more of a range bonus when you're close, but it fades off more quickly. So in Vanilla, it was like from here to like here would be close range, but in Long War, it's like from here to here. So. You have to be closer to get the bonus, but you get more of it when you do get it. Kill him, please. Another zombie. Hostile terminated. And two more zombies. Men in the water here. Yeah, yeah, I figured it, it was meant to be C4, obviously, with X being XCOM. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I did just look at it thinking, wow, why four of them, really? Uh, Dawn, what what can you do? I mean, you're here on your own. Are you going to be in range? No, there's no way you're going to be in range to shoot him. Um, you can shoot him at least. Moving to position. If you can hit him, then you may be able to kill him yourself next turn. Ooh, that's going to be a risk. That is going to be a risk. That's a problem for later, though. That is a problem for future me. Okay, guys, um, start running, I guess. I'm pretty sure everyone can be attacked from the zombies beneath. Yeah, there's, there's no way. Yeah, we need to run. Let's go. Double time. Everybody move. And there we go. Is this, what, the the Night Before Dawn or Night of the Dawn? I would say it was actually Dawn of the Dead. Excuse me, puns won't happen anymore. Don't worry, this is a punless channel. Completely humorless. Um, are there any... Um, what are you doing? Look, you can have the bunker. Doesn't want it. He doesn't want the bunker. That's fine. Um, are there any XCOM 2 mods I'd recommend? Um, I I kind of went into detail about modding um, for XCOM 2 in that catch-up video I did. Um, but suffice to say that any mod that I would recommend would then require that you balance a different aspect of the game. For example, the grenade fall-off mod. Um, that is brilliant, and I think that's how it should be. It's annoying, don't, don't be wrong, but it's, it's, it's more balanced. 
But with that mod, you then need need to enable um, every soldier being able to carry two grenades uh, from the get-go. Like in Long War, which requires another mod or you making edits. It's, you know, it's like that. I do have a lot of mods. I have an idea. I have an idea. Can you guys kind of shimmy Moving along? Speaking of grenades... On your order. Oh, no, no, no. Easy. You know, it had to be, Hang didn't on. it? Van Dorn over here had to be the one on his own. There was just no other way. If anyone was going to go AWOL, it would be Van Dorn. Moving to position. Although, considering it's Van Dorn, let's just assume he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, can I open a Van Dorn? Could you? Is there? Oh, I don't want to risk that. Um, no, he should be fine. But there could be a zombie down there. There probably is. Oh, I don't know. I suppose I could blue moon. Uh, fine. Look, here. Head now. I can't give you a van door, but I can give you a van shutter. There you go. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't reload. Okay, it was a van door. There you go. Have your Van Dorn. Now you can all, all watch Van Dorn die. On your order. And now for my plan. Um, I'm going to assume this doesn't get everyone killed. Grenade out! Oh god! That was weird. Um... Is he still alive? No, yeah, no, he's, uh, yeah, he's still alive. You can see because I can melee him. Um, can you? If you go here, no. If you go there, you're on fire. That's yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. Well, you know what? It worked once. Let's just keep grenading. Keep, 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 keep grenading. Why do you not have an angle? Damn it! Give me a grenade. I have enough of them. All right. Is there anybody here? How about you? No, you, you haven't moved yet. I don't want to use you. How about you? Ah, oh, screw it. There you go. Oh. One grenade for you. Okay, you are definitely dead. All right, spawn in two more. And then you. You're not going to be on fire there, are you? No, you won't. Okay. Oh, wait, you need to reload. Yeah, here's an idea. How about we go through the people that need to reload first? Let's do this. Rock and roll. Ready to engage. Oh. Okay. Um, I have only two people left. No. Four. Sorry. Four people left. Let's start with you. No, we can't start with you. Ignore that. Can't shoot you with you either. How about you? Nope. Can't do you either. Okay. And you can't... Alright, you know what? That's fine. Just grenade it. Screw it. Give, give me the grenades. This is for you. That is so weird, that side effect when you grenade them. Well, he's not dead, that's for sure. Can I just throw a grenade down there? Throw Screw it. Whoa! Multiple what the hell? Eliminated. Um, how many died? Uh, I kind of need to see how many died. Two died? It kind of looked like more than that. Two died. Okay, well, sure. Let's spawn in four. You've got a shot. Oh, right, the one that I just spawned in. Good enough for me. My Ooh, good damage. Spent. And, uh, yeah, you guys are on full ammo, so I guess you can just Come on. overwatch. Oh, it was just one guy. Not keeping track very well. I don't know what they're doing. Um, that was weird. Okay, sure. Oh, nice shot. Hostile terminated. 